to be kidding me. Alert. The exercise has been suspended. Please use caution when entering the test area. All I'm saying is, even if you managed to get to that velocity, which you couldn't, but even if you did, you wouldn't be able to control it. How are you going to land in a crypto box? So, what's the deal, Cap? You didn't think mentioning a vertical ascent might be integral to our planning? I know, guys, I know, and I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of an impossible checkpoint. Impossible? We didn't want you damaging our relic prototype during recovery. It's the only one we have. Why even run the simulation if we can't complete the mission? Well, we don't know all the game details, but we do know some of the key points. So, Hi, this team is just- leader. Oh! 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 I am so sorry! Um... Oh, oh, um, I'm so sorry. Why would you eat? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I'm fine. Um, this is what you guys call an adrenaline rush, huh? Okay. Well, anyways, um, we really need to talk about the grabbing arm and if we can actually reach the glyphs or oh, not. Oh, my baby! Look at this, guys, this is a mess! And you guys aren't wearing your safety glasses. It's got dirt everywhere. Dirt and filth. Seriously, guys? Okay, 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 guys. Let's get serious. We have a couple weeks left until the game starts, and we have a leg up on the competition. Now we need to be focused. You guys, you have 10,000 views on our new team video. You guys are rocking it, especially you, Juicebox. That's great. We worked really hard on it. Now can we please focus for just a second? Are there any comments? Yeah, like how cute those pilots were. What I want to know is if we're going to have to play those blue losers from last year. Hold on, hold on a second. We are a really good team, and we need to be the best we can be. So gracious professionalism, right, guys? Right. Now let's get back to the task at hand. Hey, hey, First Roost. It's your favorite team coming at you live from our super secret testing facility at an undisclosed location. It's 15 minutes south of Los Alamos, and it's right next door to a super famous... As you can see, our team gets really excited about these challenges, and I bet you do too. Now, let's welcome this year's challenge, First Relic Recovery. Let's have a great season, challenge ourselves, and have fun. Get ready for some adventure. Introducing the 2017-2018 First Tech Challenge. First Relic Recovery. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing cube. But after the match starts, it can expand. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent in another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Two red and two blue balancing stones are mounted on the field floor. Four relics are positioned in the field corners. Four jewel sets are positioned on the field walls. Four crypto boxes are also located on the walls. In front of each crypto box is a taped off safe zone. A glyph pit is also taped off in the center of the field. 24 gray and 24 brown glyphs are randomly arranged in the glyph pit. These foam blocks are six inches square. Red and blue relic recovery zones extend beyond the field toward the audience. And finally, the two alliance stations are taped off on opposite sides of the field. Prior to the start of the match, teams must balance their robots on the balancing stones. They can be in any orientation. Teams also preload one glyph per robot, selecting either color. Then, field personnel randomize the locations of the jewels. They also randomly select one of three pictograph designs and install them on the field walls. Each match begins with a 30-second autonomous period. During the autonomous period, there are a number of ways for teams to score using only pre-programmed instructions. 
If only one jewel is left on the platform at the end of the autonomous period, the alliance corresponding to that color earns 30 points. Each glyph scored in a crypto box earns the alliance 15 points. The pictographs have coded messages indicating which of the crypto box columns is a key. If a robot can decode this message and place a glyph in the crypto box key, their alliance earns a 30 point bonus. Each robot parked in a safe zone earns their alliance 10 points. Following the autonomous period is the two minute driver controlled period. There are a number of ways to score points. Each glyph scored in a crypto box earns the alliance two points. A completed row of glyphs earns an additional 10 points. And a completed column earns an additional 20 points. If an alliance can score 12 glyphs in one of the six cipher patterns, it will earn an additional 30 points. Crypto box scores are cumulative and can add up quickly. The last 30 seconds of the driver-controlled period is the end game. If a team completes a crypto box cipher, they are allowed to place relics before the end game. During the end game, teams may reach over the perimeter wall and place a relic in the recovery zone to earn 10, 20, or 40 points. An upright relic earns an additional 15 points. And finally, each robot balanced on a balancing stone earns their alliance 20 points. There are many ways to score points in Relic Recovery, but there are also rules that, if not followed, will award points to your opponents. For example, a robot may not control more than two glyphs at a time. And robots may not place non-glyph elements into a crypto box. This has been a brief summary of the first Relic Recovery game. For complete rules, please read the entire game manual and remember to check the Q&A forum. But remember the most important rule in First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism.